Coming up next, Florida prepares for a major hurricane. Can public outcry stop Mark Christie's name change? Paying a higher price for breaking a parking rule? And bad news for a Bills running back? That and more next. This spring, News Source 13 medical reporter Liz Bonus was first to tell you about a radical laser surgery to correct vision. Now she'll introduce you to something that may be even better. This is a miracle. I cannot believe how well I can see. Rochester is one of only a few hundred cities in the country to offer this new procedure, and seeing is believing. I see better than I did when I was a teenager. I can see the world. Watch News Source 13 tomorrow at 6. More local news, more local experience. As the big wedding approaches... Oh, so I invited Rachel then. Ross remembers. But do you think it would be okay if I asked you out? Maybe. It's always been you, right? <laughs> oh, you're over me? Oh, maybe we should just take a break. And Rachel... I just, I feel... ...will never forget. It's Ross. How can I watch him get married? Next Friends. Friends, tomorrow at 7, only on 13. From WOKR, Rochester, this is News Source 13. The coast of Florida is under a state of emergency tonight. More than a million people are being urged to evacuate. Hurricane Floyd is in the forecast. The question now is, is where it's headed? Good evening, I'm Jenny Ryan. Don Alhart is off tonight. It's a powerful storm that could cause enormous damage. That's what forecasters are saying about Hurricane Floyd. 600 National Guard troops and 500 state police are on alert in Georgia. Eyes are also on the storm in North Carolina. Here's ABC's People here along Staley. the Florida coast spent much of the day preparing their homes for this storm and preparing themselves for a possible evacuation. Uh, this morning, people were keeping a very close eye on this hurricane, waiting to see what Hurricane Floyd does next. Residents all along Florida's east coast are stocking up boarding up and moving out in anticipation of Hurricane Floyd. This is right on the threshold of being one of the strongest hurricanes ever. More than a million people along the Atlantic coast have been urged to evacuate. People from Florida to as far north as the Carolinas are preparing for the worst. The military is moving ships to safer waters and flying aircraft out of harm's way. At Cape Canaveral, NASA secured its billion dollar space shuttles before leaving the Kennedy Space Center all but abandoned. Floyd comes with the memories of Hurricane Andrew fresh in the minds of Florida residents. Andrew killed 26 people and left $25 billion of destruction in its wake. And Andrew was a much smaller storm than Floyd. In the Bahamas, residents boarded up property and crowded stores which soon sold out of emergency supplies. I'm trying to get some batteries and they're all sold out, no candles, everything is gone. Authorities in the Bahamas say Floyd will send storm surges miles inland. Most oceanfront residents sought safety in shelters far from the island's beaches. It is not just the force of Floyd, but its size that is creating the worries. Hurricane winds extend up to 125 miles from Floyd Center. And forecasters say that size makes Floyd more unpredictable than other hurricanes. At this hour, people up and down Florida's east coast on up into Georgia and South Carolina are prepared to evacuate. They will likely find out here in Florida whether those evacuations become mandatory first thing in the morning. Reporting live from Jacksonville, Florida, Dean Staley, ABC News. Now back to you. All right, Dean. Of course, Bill Peterson also watching the storm. Yeah. It's tough to pinpoint still or no? Yeah, it really is. Right now, uh, if you were a betting man and you want to place your odds on Florida, uh, because that's where it's headed. We thought earlier that it might take a little bit turn to uh, the north and come on around South Carolina. It has not made that turn to the north. We now think it's going to head towards Florida and then kind of skirt the coast of Florida and then maybe move north, which would be the worst possible scenario. That means parts of Florida would be under hurricane force winds for about 24 to 30 hours because of the massive nature of this storm. As of now, we do think that in about the next six hours or so, hurricane warnings are going to go up for most of Florida and parts of Georgia. Also, uh, still, as powerful as this storm is, it's going to do whatever it wants to do. Right now, it looks like uh, tomorrow, by about 5 o'clock, it'll be uh, in the neighborhood of about 90 miles offshore of Florida. 
moving at about 14 miles an hour. It still has not curved to the north. That is a possibility that may happen tonight. Storm surge, 15 to 20 foot uh, tides above normal they're expecting, which will cause extreme flooding and a tremendous amount of rain. And a bit of trivia, 12 years ago in September, a hurricane named Floyd moved down the coast of Florida mm. and did some damage. It was a minor hurricane when it did move on, but it did do some damage. Now, if this one does make landfall, what they will do because of the power of the storm is to retire the name and that won't have to you know floyd will uh, just go in the annals of like camille and right. andrew and those uh but right now this is about as strong a storm as i've seen so far in the last since we've been keeping track we've had two category five storms this one is approaching category five level so we're going to watch it very close glenn will be here in the morning all right bill we'll check back with you you get it it is said there is power in numbers, but can the opinions of thousands of people prevent convicted killer Mark Christie from changing his name? That will be up to a judge in Clinton County to decide tomorrow. In the meantime, News Source 13's Norma Holland tells us a mother and local lawmaker are keeping hope alive. Whether or not Mark Christie legally becomes Randy McPherson, his victim's mother says she's already done what she set out to do, keep Mark Christie from hiding. Already thousands of people across the country have joined her fight. I believe that we will be able to, if Mark becomes Randy, that we will be able to change a law. And I think that that would be um, wonderful. You know, what a wonderful tribute for my daughters in her memory. Tosh is talking about a proposed bill to be called Kaylee's Law that will require name change candidates to undergo a criminal background check. It will also require that victims and their families be notified of a felon's name change request. While the bill may not impact Christie's case, one of the bill's creators, Senator Rick Dollinger, believes public outcry will. I still believe, however, that this court is going to take a very careful look at it and that there's a good, strong, reasonable basis to conclude that the name change is designed to mislead and, and deceive people. In court papers, Christie cites, quote, the notoriety of his crime and his desire to seek anonymity as the reasons for his request. Judy Gifford Tosh thinks otherwise. I'm wondering if in his own mind he thinks Mark Christie killed Kaylee Poulton. And if I'm no longer Mark Christie and I'm Randy McPherson, can he live with that a little bit easier? Yeah. Norma Holland, News Source 13. And sometime Tuesday, Gifford Tosh and Senator Rick Dollinger expect to hear from the judge in Christie's case regarding a petition they recently filed. And on Wednesday, a judge in Plattsburgh will officially decide whether or not to allow Christie's name change petition. There could be changes in the law as a result of another notorious local criminal. Artwork of serial killer Arthur Shawcross has been sold in a public auction on the Internet. State Senator Michael Nazolio says it should be against the law. He says a loophole in the son of Sam law preventing criminals from profiting from their crime made this possible. Now, the Internet, uh, an ancient can market individuals' wares and uh, even give an indirect, if not direct, benefit to a prison inmate. Now, we think that's wrong. It's an insult to our crime victims, and it should be stopped. Although Shawcross did not receive money for his artwork, he did receive some gifts for it. Shawcross has since lost his drawing and painting privileges for good. The man accused of shaking a baby to death will be in court in the morning. Christopher Schneeberger is charged with assault in the death of five-month-old Alex Schneeberger. The baby died over the weekend from injuries. As a result, Schneeberger could face more serious charges. A decision will be made when autopsy results on the baby are in. Andrew Cuomo is thinking about running for governor of New York State. A friend of the former governor's son says he wants to run. Cuomo is currently the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development in Washington. This is a look at Cuomo when he was in Rochester last month. The next gubernatorial election is in the year 2002. Neighborhood news tonight from Webster. The town unveiled its preliminary development plans. They include developing areas along Lake Ontario. New housing and an office park were also discussed tonight. The plans were designed with the environment and open space in mind. The village of Webster is not part of the plan. Town leaders hope to have a final plan finished by the winter time. Well, it's going to cost you more if you get a ticket for parking in a handicapped spot. The governor today signed a law that will add a $30 surcharge to all handicapped parking tickets. 
That's in addition to a possible fine. The law goes into effect in April. If you have trouble finding clothes that fit just right, there may be help on the way. The United States Air Force is building the most comprehensive information ever compiled on the size of the average person. It's being co-sponsored by 20 companies. The findings will be used to redesign everything from clothes and cars to airplanes. Hmm. Have we heard all along we're getting bigger and they yeah. need to do this? The airplane big seats, study. I like that one. <laughs> See, you got about what this much space. And that's where the seats. Air Force may be in yeah, on all of this. Yeah, that would be nice. That yeah. would be nice. Uh, interesting weather. Not so much here. It has rained. We've had a good study of rain. We'll talk about that. Floyd continues to yeah. push on uh, towards the Florida coast. Of course, we told you about that. So let's take a look in the neighborhood. Our fast track 13 does show. We'll go to the Doppler first, and then we'll go to fast track. You can see we do have some showers on the Doppler. Most of them now have pushed uh, to the east of Rochester. Fairly steady rain, as you can see, in areas. And then we've, uh, the rain has ended in, through the central portions of our viewing area. But there are more showers, scattered showers, back to the west. So we still have some rain in our forecast for the night tonight. And around the neighborhood, you can see just not much going on through our viewing area, but just to the east of Sotus and Newark and Canandaigua, and now through Penyan, you can see we do have showers and through Seneca County. In fact, a heavy band of showers from just east of Newark up around the lake towards Oswego, and then scattered showers northwest of Albion. You can see that we do have just scattered showers still heading this way. We kept the rain on the forecast for a while tonight, and we will see showers off and on, possibly even into early tomorrow morning. Right now, skies are cloudy. Our temperature at 65 degrees. That's actually up one degree from 11 o'clock. Winds are south, fairly light, humidity high. We are getting some reports of some patchy fog out there during the night tonight. In through the central and northern plain states, you can see temperatures uh, in Fargo and International Falls, 44 and 48 degrees. So certainly some cool air back in through the northern plain states headed this way. And that is the air that will be with us throughout most of the week. Looks like after tomorrow, our high temperatures will remain in the 60s. So a hint of fall headed our way. Today's high temperature, 78 degrees. That actually occurred earlier in the day. As soon as that rain started pushing in, we did cool down. Low temperature last night, 65 degrees. Normal temperatures, normal high, 74. We could be as much as 10 degrees below that throughout the rest of the week. Here's what it looks like on a satellite photo. Not much going on through the western states. We do have this cold front that's in the process of pushing through the northeast. And of course, here is what is left or what is left of and what is Floyd. It will continue to push, we think, in towards the Florida panhandle. And as it happens, this storm really bears watching because it is an immense, an immense storm. Uh, most of the heavy rain is now pushing through the eastern uh, parts of our viewing area, but still some scattered showers back to the west. These have to push through, and I think that'll happen by early tomorrow morning, and then we should start to dry out as this cold front does push through western New York, and this marks the edge of some much cooler air that will be with us then the rest of the week. For tomorrow, the cold front will push through, lingering shower up until as late as 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. As the cold air pushes through, high pressure comes in behind it, and that will start to clear our skies. And for Wednesday, we are looking for quite a bit of sunshine. As of now, it looks like Floyd will not affect us with any, maybe some patchy clouds, but with no rain. But as massive as Floyd is, that could all change, so we'll continue to watch it. Here's the forecast now for tonight. Scattered showers, no more than that, 59 degrees, and some fog out there. Now for tomorrow, we'll start the day at about 61 degrees. Still have a shower in at 8 o'clock, but certainly before noon, we'll start to clear out. And by 5 o'clock, looking at 71 degrees with some sunshine. Now here's the part of the forecast that could change. Not Wednesday so much, 68 degrees, we will see some sun. Some sun on Thursday and 64, and on Friday, our temperature will be 67 degrees. Now Thursday, Friday, we'll continue to watch this very closely because depending upon what Floyd decides to do, that forecast for Thursday and Friday could change. But as of now, it looks like a fairly decent but cool week ahead. We could feel the effects as well. Huh? We can, and Glenn will update in the morning, and I'll be here tomorrow night to let you know uh, uh, what's happening in Florida. All right, Bill. There is another round of disappointing news for a Rochester company. That's next. <sighs> And later, funeral services today for two local children and their father. And a very serious drive for blood in our area. 
And in sports, we'll tell you how long Thurman Thomas is going to be out of the lineup for the Buffalo Bills. Plus, we'll take you to Columbus, where the Rhinos are getting ready for their big U.S. Open Cup championship game, which is going to be played tomorrow night. Oh, that cloud looks like a frog. That one's a princess. That one looks like a friendly's chicken sandwich. I can see it, Mom. The hot pud sundae's in the way. You're going to fall for friendly's new tastier chicken sandwiches, like the new Smokehouse Barbecue Chicken Sandwich with crispy bacon and cheese, or the hot and spicy kickin' buffalo chicken sandwich. Mm, this is heaven. With the cherry on top. And now get a hot fudge sundae for only 99 cents with any meal at Friendly's. As the big wedding approaches. Oh, so I invited Rachel then. Ross remembers. But do you think it would be okay if I asked you out? Maybe. It's always been you, Rach. <laughs> oh, you're over me? Oh, maybe we should just take a break. And Rachel. I just, I feel. Will never forget. It's Ross. How can I watch him get married? Next Friends. Friends, tomorrow at 7, only on 13. Understand? Understand? She gotta do what she gotta do. I don't think there's much understanding in your relationship. He threw me in the wall. I had a black eye and a fat lip. Love can hurt, but it's not supposed to hurt this way. Gloria, come on out and show your new look. Make it count. Make it Maury. Maury, weekdays at 9 on 13. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Children light up the world like rays of hope in dark times. And when we focus on our children, their light can illuminate so many other things in life. With family strengthening programs like Project Spirit, the Congress of National Black Churches and your local member church are helping children and parents find their way, child by child, parent by parent, family by family. The CNBC is reaching out to thousands nationwide through programs focusing on leadership, community development, child immunization, and combating drugs and violence. To find out more about how black churches are coming together to help, contact us. One child, one life, one chance to take hold of something precious and... Let it shine. This message made possible by AT&T and the Congress of National Black Churches. New Source 13 closed captioning is made possible by Hatch Leonard, representing travelers and many other fine insurance companies. You're watching News Source 13 at 11 with Don Alhart, Ginny Ryan, Chief Meteorologist Bill Peterson, and Mike Catalana on sports. News Source 13, more local news, more local experience. The Red Cross says it is in urgent need of blood donations. The agency reports if they don't have blood donated in the next couple of days, they will run out. Liz Bonus has more in tonight's Medical Edge. The American Red Cross says donations here have been up, but so has the need in our area. The American Red Cross says hospital use for blood has gone up 100% over the summer months, and that has left them with this shortage. Right now, they have about three quarters of a day's worth of blood of the most common kind needed. That's type O. And about a day and a half of some of the other kinds. This has put them in a critical situation. The Red Cross is concerned because if more blood donors don't come through our doors at the beginning of this week, we could be out of blood by Wednesday. Now, the Red Cross has extended its hours at all of its donation sites this week. They do request, if possible, you call and let them know that you're coming in. That number to call is 1-800-272-4543, or you can visit our website at rochestertoday.com for more information. The blood is promised to area hospitals based on those future appointments, so if you can call, they can anticipate what their supply will be. Hope you can help. That is our Medical Edge, and I'm Liz Bonus for News Source 13. It has been three years since our area has had a blood shortage as critical as this one. Some business news tonight. Kodak has a new board member. She's Deborah L. Lee, President and Chief Operating Officer of BET Holdings. That's the company that owns Black Entertainment Television. There's bad news from Rochester's Genesee Brewery. Second quarter earnings are down more than $2 million, and sales are down $4 million. 
The company announced it was cutting 50 jobs last month, about 10 percent of its workforce. To Wall Street now, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed up $1.90 at 11,030. The Nasdaq was down 42. S&P down seven and a half. Stocks of interest now to local investors. Bausch was up 31. Chase was up 25. EDS fell 13. Kodak was up 288. And Frontier closed up three dollars. GM was up 56. IBM fell 263. No change for Mediva. And Mobile fell a dollar 75. But Xerox closed up 25. It's truck season, and Malier knows trucks. Yes, Malier is ready with all kinds of trucks. So many trucks that Malier is selling for the lowest price and APR ever. That's because our dad always says yes. So come on out to Malier Chevy Olds and Malier Truck Country in Honeyoy Falls. It's not as far as you think. Awesome, Dad. Customer satisfaction and standard equipment at Malier Chevrolet Olds. That's my dad. News Source 13's Rochester Radar. With 250,000 watts of power, Rochester's most powerful live local radar. Only from Rochester's weather station, News Source 13. More local weather, more local experience. Oh, that cloud looks like a frog. That one's a princess. That one looks like a friendly's chicken sandwich. I can't see it, Mom. The hot pad sundae's in the way. You're gonna fall for Friendly's new tastier chicken sandwiches. Like the new Smokehouse Barbecue Chicken Sandwich with crispy bacon and cheese. Or the hot and spicy Kickin' Buffalo Chicken Sandwich. Mmm, this is heaven. With the cherry on top. And now get a hot fudge sundae for only 99 cents with any meal at Friendly's. This spring, News Source 13 medical reporter Liz Bonus was first to tell you about a radical laser surgery to correct vision. Now she'll introduce you to something that may be even better. This is a miracle. I cannot believe how well I can see. Rochester is one of only a few hundred cities in the country to offer this new procedure, and seeing is believing. I see better than I did when I was a teenager. I can see the world. Watch News Source 13 tomorrow at 6. More local news, more local experience. Rochester, you've made News Source 13 this area's number one source for news. Honoring News Source 13 with more number one rated newscasts than any other television station. And you've made News Source 13 your number one choice for more than a decade. The people of News Source 13 are dedicated to this community because they are part of this community. News Source 13 is proud to be your number one source for more local news, more local experience. As the big wedding approaches... Oh, so I invited Rachel then. Ross remembers. But do you think it would be okay if I asked you out? Maybe. It's always been you, Rach. <laughs> oh, You're over me? Oh, maybe we should just take a break. And Rachel... I just, I feel... ...will never forget. It's Ross. How can I watch him get married? Next Friends. Friends, tomorrow at 7, only on 13. Now for tonight's winning lottery numbers, the daily 587, the win 49870. Good evening, I'm Dermot Henry. Welcome to Monday, September 13th, Take 5 Drawing being observed by an auditor from KPMG. There were no first prize winners in Saturday night's lotto drawing. Don't forget, Wednesday's lotto jackpot is now $10 million. Tonight's winning Take 5 numbers are 13, 4, 7, 25, and 8. Making Monday, September 13th, winning take 5 results. 13, 4, 7, 25, and 8. Thank you for joining us and have a good night. Now, sports from News Source 13. News Source 13 Sports. More local news, more local experience. Hey, there's a new race in Major League Baseball. It's in the American League East. After sweeping the Yankees over the weekend, the Red Sox are only three and a half games back. The Yankees, they were in Toronto tonight. Former Yankee David Wells was on the mound and pitching good against his old team. He strikes out Chili Davis right there. 
Now, David Wells hasn't beaten the Yankees David all year, was but tonight he did because Just Vernon Wells, his first Major League home run for Toronto, the final up north of the border. Toronto beats the Yankees 2-1, to one, the fourth straight loss for the Yankees. Well, how did the second place team do tonight? Did they gain any ground on the Yankees? It was Boston in Cleveland, and Kenny Lofton let off the game for the Indians with a home run. He had three hits on the night. Fourth inning, it was more Indians. Richie Sexton, this time his 30th homer of the season. A three-run shot to make it 8-1. to one. Cleveland would beat Boston tonight 11-7. to seven. They trail the Yankees by three and a half games. Both teams lost tonight. Other games in Major League Baseball, it was Oakland over Tampa. Cal Repke gets a home run. He's only 18 hits shy of 3,000. Orioles win it in 10. The Mets in the National League would beat Colorado, and they gain a game on Atlanta because Atlanta loses. The Braves lead the Mets by only one game in the National League East. Cincinnati was a winner this afternoon in Houston all over Philadelphia, 13-2. to More bad news for the Buffalo Bills. Not only did they look terrible losing to the Colts opening day, but they learned today that Thurman Thomas could be out six weeks. It happened yesterday in the opening game against Indy. Thurman tried to catch this bat, this pass by Doug Flutie. He stretched out, got hit in the ribs. He bruised his kidney and liver. Flutie says he's sorry. I just did not see the corner rolled up. I saw him out there. Uh, Thurman's body language was such that he thought he was wide open, and I thought he was wide open. And as the ball left my hand, I saw the corner come off. And those things happen every now and then. And, this is um, how your coach do it. Just, He's right there, stick that, that bothered me. Right in there. Nice. Obviously, it does bother Doug Flutie. Sunday night, the Bills host the Jets for their home opener. The Jets will be without quarterback Vinny Testaverde. Now, he was injured in the first half of the Jets game with the Patriots yesterday without even being hit. He ruptured his Achilles tendon by just pushing off the turf. Vinny is positive about his rehab. Like I told my wife and my family, um, you know, anytime a player gets hurt and you see them able to get up and walk away, uh, see they're moving their, their, their body, that's a good sign. Um, you know, what I have, my injury, it's repaired. It'll take some time, but I'll be back to 100%. Now, Rick Meyer or Tom Tupper will most likely start for the Jets Sunday night in Buffalo for the Bills' home opener. And it was the opener on Monday Night Football in Denver. The Broncos hosted the Dolphins. Jimmy Johnson and his crew out west. Brian Greasy taking over for John Elway, a quarterback for the Broncos. He hooks up with Ed McCaffrey for a 61-yard touchdown. Denver led it 7-0. Now, SU get grad Rob Conrad running back for the Dolphins would get his first NFL touchdown, a pass for Marino. 14-7, Dolphins would lead, and they would lead the rest of the way. But at halftime, John Elway was honored. His jersey and his number was retired from the Broncos, one of the greatest players ever to play in the NFL. He was honored tonight in Denver, the place where he made a great name for himself in the NFL. Dolphins would win the game tonight, 38-21. Now, three years ago, the Rhinos went to the U.S. Open Cup Final and lost to D.C. United. Later today, they will play in the championship game again when they play Colorado. Now, the championship game will be in Columbus. The Rhinos were there today practicing for the game. The team is excited about playing Colorado for the championship game, which is a big one. The U.S. Olympics was my most exciting level that I played at, but uh, this is really close with the atmosphere and the, the fever and the flavor and, and everybody. You guys coming down and all the support that we're having, the busloads of fans that are going to come and support us, it's going to be pretty exciting. So the World U.S. Open Cup game is tomorrow, but the A-League playoffs for the Rhinos will continue. The second round will be against Pittsburgh, the River Hounds. Game one will be Saturday the 18th in Rochester at 7.30 this Saturday. A week from Saturday will be game two. This is a three-game series. If they need game three, it would be back in Rochester Tuesday, September 28th. So two games in Rochester, one in Pittsburgh. And the Rondos would have to win that series to advance to a little bit farther in the A-League Championship. But the U.S. Open Cup, a little confusing, is a total different tournament. They could win the championship of the U.S. Open Cup tomorrow night in Columbus against Colorado. Got it all? Got it, absolutely. Yeah, that's an easy one to follow. <laughs> Out on the links today, Mr. Don Alhart. Was he? Yeah, fundraiser for the Urban League. Yes. Enjoying himself, so yeah. he'll be back tomorrow. He's a good In golfer. sports news, yeah. <laughs> Still ahead, recruiting and retaining teachers in New York State. Plus, the end of the road for a local apartment complex. In nature, things move for a reason. 
And if you're talking about the nature-loving Jeep Grand Cherokee, it's moving for some very good reasons. Because along with having more power, luxury, and capability than ever before, the 1999 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo now comes with a low $299 a month lease. So for a great offer on this award-winning vehicle, make your move today. Because this is an opportunity you don't want to miss. Check one out at your Jeep dealer. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. When we were teenagers, we thought we knew it all, didn't we? We had all the answers. Well, today, the sex can give you AIDS, the drugs crack cocaine, and the music comes with warning labels. That's what our kids have to deal with. So how do we help our teenagers who think they know it all? How do we as parents help them make the right choices? It's tough. Then I heard about Raising Today's Teens, a support line for parents of teenagers. Raising Today's Teens has experienced counselors, and many of them are parents with teenagers. So when I called, I found out I wasn't alone, and it was reassuring to know that other parents face the same issues and concerns. Raising a teenager is a challenge, but it doesn't always have to be so difficult. Thanks to Raising Today's Teens, you don't have to do it alone. Call Raising Today's Teens at 1-800-475-TALK. That's 1-800-475-TALK. Array for Hollywood. The new source 13 times is here. You could win big. Read about your favorite 13 newscasters. Your paper also has a lucky number. Send in your entry form and you could be one of the winners. Win tickets to see cats at the Auditorium Center or a shopping spree at Chase Bitkin. And you could be the winner of this cool soft tub spa from Pettis Pools and Patio. So be a Hollywood Square and win big. Look for your entry in the new source 13 times. On New Source 13 at 11, we created the Medical Edge. Two new devices have just been approved. The Medical Edge is cutting-edge information, cutting-edge technology, what's new and what's different with the latest research. A new study has found it could decrease the risk of having... It's local, it's here, it's going on in our community. Rochester is the first and only site. Chances are, if it's in this community and you haven't heard about it before, you're going to hear about it on the Medical Edge. Liz Bonus, Rochester's most experienced medical reporter, only on New Source 13. A local family killed in an 80-car pileup in Ontario, Canada was remembered today. Funeral services were held for the McLemore family. Friends and family paid their respects to 40-year-old Charles McLemore and children Marcia and Mark. Years old. U.S. Senator Charles Schumer called for better incentives for teachers today. He proposed several measures, including one that would forgive the student loans of teachers who stay in the field for longer than five years. And a condominium complex prone to flooding is being torn down. Six condos, part of the Forest Hills complex in Penfield, flooded twice in 1998. It's hoped the move today will save money in the long run. Tomorrow is primary day in New York State, actually Tuesday. News Source 13 will have complete coverage beginning at noon time Tuesday. Polls are open from noon until 9, and when you're not near the television, you can head to rochestertoday.com for all the results of primary day 99. We'll be right back. The Salvation Army helps shape the Rochester community by counseling, feeding, and housing men and women in need each day at their adult rehabilitation center. Please continue to support the work of the Salvation Army with your generous donations of clothing, furniture, and household items. Receive peace of mind knowing that you will make a difference for your neighbors in need. With the Salvation Army, everybody wins. New Source 13 is now on radio. Seven days a week, News Source 13 is on News 1040 AM. If you can't get to your TV, let News Source 13 come to you. The excitement of New York Lottery is found seven nights a week on WOKI 13, Rochester's exclusive station for live lottery drawings. Find out if you're the next lotto millionaire during News Source 13 at 11, as winners are picked every Wednesday and Saturday night. If Take 5 is your game, watch News Source 13 at 11, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday nights. Play daily numbers and win four. Now instantly if you're a winner every evening at 7.30. Catch lottery excitement only on Rochester's live lottery station, WOKR 13. Join us Sunday mornings at 9 for Many Voices, Many Visions, a celebration of Rochester's diversity. You'll meet people from various races, ethnic backgrounds, age, gender, and ability groups, both in the studio 
Sandown location. We'll bring you the arts and issues of Rochester's multicultural community. Each week, local musicians will sing our theme song. Don't miss Many Voices, Many Visions, Sunday mornings at 9, only on WOKR 13. Break left, gas right. Uh-huh, yeah, that's my cheat sheet. Banana, banana, bo -bee -bee. I love how sexy I am. <laughs> bee -bee. Friends, five days a week. It's total clearance 99 at Dick Eye Honda, and you win. We're overstocked and going to sell 100 Hondas in 10 days. Huge final markdowns on Honda Accords and Civics. Super low 3.9% financing. Super low payments. We're overstocked, so you get the absolute best price guaranteed. If you're about to lease or buy from any other dealer, stop. Why accept an ordinary year-end discount on an ordinary car? When this week, you win with an extraordinary Honda for far, far less. Only from Dick Eye from Honda. Dick Eye Honda. News Source 13's live neighborhood weather shows you up to the second live weather conditions. Live neighborhood weather from News Source 13's weather team. Two decades of more local weather, more local experience. <laughs> One more look at the forecast. Oh, that didn't go on. Ah, okay, we will see. Uh, rain tomorrow morning, some clouds in the afternoon. All right. And the Rhinos have a big game in Columbus. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Nightline's next. More Rochesterians get their news from News Source 13 than from any other source. News Source 13, always on at rochestertoday.com.